Cuba, free territory in the Americas. We're transmitting in English on our international shortwave frequency and streaming real audio online at www.radiohc.tv. Tuning in to Radio Havana, Cuba, our English language broadcast for our second hour here on this Friday. Thanks for joining us and uh, making Radio Havana, Cuba a part of your weekend as we go into the weekend here on this Friday. Well, coming up, we have news from Cuba and around the world. We've got Dr. Jose Rivera, as we do almost every day with the weather report. And we'll have Susana Nieves with our commentary viewpoint for today. Catherine Lopez has her weekly program on economic issues. It's put together by Radio Havana Cuba's Marinada Samper in Spanish called Ventana Economica. And this week, they bring us a report on the monetary ordering and the economic transformations undertaken here in Cuba over the past year. Lena Valverde presents her weekly program, The Caribbean Outlook Show, with news about the Caribbean, our sister Caribbean island nations. We'll visit with Rach Gomez in her program on tourism called Visit Cuba. And we have sports action with Abel Vasquez. And Lena comes back again. She's working hard today. She has a cultural news with the Arts Roundup there. Lena Valverde. Lots of stuff over the next 60 minutes. Stay with us right here on Radio Havana Cuba for our second hour on your radio. And everybody else's radio too. Over now to the news desk for our national news with Catherine Lopez. Thank you. Miguel de Sanero, first Secretary of the Party and President of the Republic, told communities and institutions in Santiago de Cuba on Thursday as part of his work agenda in that eastern city. The head of state visited sites in the Pasolita neighborhood in continuity with the efforts of the country's leadership to maintain direct contact with the communities, and among them he visited the Las Piguita Children's Daycare Center, a center that is being transformed with the participation of the residents and municipal entities. At the Universidad de Oriente, the head of state visited the students' residence, which includes the story, and exchanged with the English language students with whom he talked about several topics and was especially concerned about the internet connectivity for study. The program also included the evaluation of the investments made in the Tamara Bunke Obstetrics and Gynecology Hospital, closed since the end of 2020, and a cornerstone in the maternal and child care program in the province. Before the trip, the head of state presided over this morning the assembly in the municipality of Santiago de Cuba as a continuation of the eighth part Sunday. With events, cultural galas, and talks, Cuba commemorates this Friday the 60th anniversary of the second declaration of Havana, considered a defining document of the revolution in its early years. A panel with prominent researchers in history and Cuban U.S. relations to be held at the Higher Institute of International Relations will be one of the highlights of the program to commemorate the anniversary. The historic event will also commemorate in other academic scenarios and educational centers where homage will also be paid to Fidel Castro, historic